Nice, Ryan. I think you got it about the perfect amount off the ground. So about a month ago, we brought our truck to Wisconsin and had custom offsets, rebuild our truck, they threw new wheels on it, lifted it up, and it looks badass now. We now have a set of old wheels and tires that don't fit with our truck anymore because it just looked really weird if you put like a high offset and small tire with a lifted truck. So we were thinking. We got a little bit of tread left and we need it gone. Because we actually found somebody to buy the wheels, but we told them the tires are shot, so we want to make sure that they are shot. Ryan, you look like you're working hard over there. Hey Ryan, I'm gonna help you out here, bud. You need a breaker bar, dude. Just shake the finger. Torque crash. No, that's the biggest no-no in the game. What? The biggest no-no in the game. What? Or a torque wrench, not a breaker bar. Yeah. Sorry, no, no, no. I just remember reading it. Desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah that looks sick. Oh dude! <laughs> yeah, that's a clean fit right there. Can you imagine? Do people actually do this? I don't want to offend anyone if they lift their truck four inches and then run on what, 31s? Just looks so little, dude. Not good. <laughs> when you literally skip leg day. No poke at all. All right, we're wrapping this thing up. We got the wheels on. It looks terrible as we expected, and uh, we're gonna go drive it. good right there Feels like a good spot. so we should have mentioned um, the problem is we don't have that many spots that we can just openly do a burnout if you guys remember that guy that went to Ryan's dad Randy's shop and did a crazy amount of burnouts we feel kind of bad going back to Randy's and leaving more burnout marks so we decided to uh, do it at our own shop for once Ryan, are you doing it yeah I I don't know who's gonna do it CJ got to do the last one yeah, I know. I did the last one. Yeah, and you're just garbage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the gas as good as Ryan. True. Well, get ready, but I don't want an extra extra weight in the back of the truck. We didn't need that, did we? I just figured it was garbage. Is that a microwave? Garbage now. You didn't want that microwave, did you? No. Okay, What's it for? Man, you guys have problems, you know that? Yeah, okay, I'm getting, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, I thought you were gonna swing it towards me. Ah! Oh, that was stupid. They put little screens in here, huh? So you can't get through to your food. Well, now we got broken glass. Do your best work, man. Hey, you're kind of the pro with this. What'd you do, you put it in low? Uh, maybe just put it in drive. And then just jerk the brake a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ryan. Finish these bad boys off. Bud. <laughs>
everything right now. Looking like a Christmas tree. Oh, oh no. Oh, way to go, Ryan. Oh my. Wow. Well, Maybe I guess you got shut traction it off and shut it back on. Yeah, did you try turning it off and turning it back on again? It's still on? Power steering. Stabila track. Trailer brake system. It'll be fine. It's not that expensive anyway, even if it was broken. Man, I'm sure glad I'm not responsible for breaking the truck. <laughs> That happened? did not sound good. That no! <laughs> what happened? I don't know. I did a burnout. And went... I thought CJ knew what happened because he was looking at the front. He was like, no! <laughs> and I was like, what are, what are you seeing that I don't see? I'm like, this is not. <laughs> We're all like standing around, like looking at each other, hoping somebody knows what just happened. Ryan, did you, what, did you just. Are you guys punking no, me no, or I something? Did, I didn't do anything. Does it I, start? No, Dude, well, you can't even do burnouts in trucks these days? Lame. Power steering, drive with care. Dismiss. Stability track, dismiss. Brakes, uh, trailer brake system, dismiss, dismiss. Oh, we're clear. Let it rip. Oh, oh dude, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's good. <laughs> hey, we're good. Let's not do it again. Not do it again? I'm fine with that, dude. Yeah, dude, I don't want to break this. Absolutely no remorse for anything mechanical. And that's Seaboys. Dude, this is like a $75,000 truck and we just about broke it. Like, we just about, <laughs> like, that was like a lot of money. I mean, we're laughing right now, but that would have really hurt. <laughs> Look at all this. All right, so we're gonna be sending these out in your guys' packaging. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Let's just put the old tires back on now it's that was the new ones <laughs> we gotta get rid of those things somebody already bought them <laughs> honestly there's quite a bit more tread left than i thought there was gonna be same if the truck didn't just about break i would have made you because you know the rules there's a little bit of yeah tread i left. told you to do it again i was hoping you would have kept it burning all the way up over the hill to make it there but it freaking died right away all right ryan put the uh new tires back on right. i'll help you ryan So we've been getting a lot of comments in the uh, comment section that people want a shop tour. And it's been like a year now, so we decided after last video that we'd give it to you guys. Yeah, I mean, we actually moved in like a year and a half ago, but you guys have been asking for a year. It's, uh, it's really came a long ways. So anyways, let's just get into it. Yeah, that's the doorbell. This is kind of the main entrance. Everyone who always walks in always goes, oh man, it's way smaller in person. We got plenty of room right now, but as soon as winter comes around and we bring like our truck inside and at least one of our cars, it just like piles up. Oh, and snowmobiles. So yeah. it's, it's like, there's no room in the winter, uh, but it's pretty spacious right now. So this is obviously the workbench. A lot of work gets done here. Uh, as you can tell, Micah's bike, it's been eight months. A lot of work's been getting done to it. It's still apart, <laughs> but hopefully, you you can get that back together soon, Mike. Micah made that. Mike's behind the camera right now. Mike, you did a good job on that. That looks yeah. really good. I did. I only made like half, three fourths. Well, Ryan's dad helped me with the rest. I'll give you all the credit and Rand Man. Coming over here, CJ's bike. Still missing the back tire because we took the tube out of it for that video where Micah burned off his snow tire. Where, do we get a tube? Is it coming? No, yeah, it's on the way. Tube, it's on the way. It'll sit like uh, that for another week, probably. Right over here, we got the dock fridge, of course. A necessity. Stocked up full with dock, Uber, and then bubbler water. That's a big hit. Sunglass display. So we're a dealer for 509, and we got a sunglass display, but we don't retail, so we just put like all of our personal sunglasses on it. You can see over here, we have Big Ken. All right. Sitting in the Maverick that we're uh, going to be giving away to you guys. There's what? How many days left now? Three? Three days from today to get entered to win this baby. So every $5 you spend at cboystv.com gets you one entry. We'll have that linked in the description though. 
Coming on over here, we got Micah's dirt bike, which runs right now and has a normal tire on it. Micah's other dirt bike, his Suzuki, that was torn apart in March at the end of the snow bike season. Uh, and it was getting a new piston, new gaskets, new piston rings, and valves. How's that going, Mike? Uh, good. I'm basically just waiting for Cody to come over and help me with it. Yeah. It's like when you order something and it hasn't came in the mail yet, that's like Cody. I'm waiting for Cody in the mail. So, Cody, if you're watching this video, <laughs> come help. Come over. My bike, our pit bike, Pister Pro, which is really sick, except for, I don't know who did it or how it even happened, but somehow, something happened. Where it doesn't start. Kickstart's yeah. just fricked. So Big Ken's wall of shame up here uh, with Ryan's bumper as well. Big Ken, you've been really hard on your RS and you've had it for like f like six months. Here you see our custom made $5,000 sign <laughs> that we uh, kind of got roped into buying, but we love it. We would not get rid of it. Long story short, Jake told us, hey, my uncle can make us a sign for 1500 bucks and it's gonna be massive, like eight feet. And we are like, dope! Well Jake told us that was like the initial like material cost and that's, that's what ended up coming out of it. So it's dope. Shifter cart of course. We have big things coming regard in regards to a shifter cart. Ryan's quad, Ken's quad, and then um, Micah's snowmobile. Uh, it's like a race sled, it's about as raw as you can get and they are so fun to ride Minnesota ditches with. Back here is where we actually used to print all of our merchandise that we sold. So I would be here printing it, throw it on the conveyor belt, it would come out, one of the other sea boys would grab it, fold it, bag it, and uh, it was an absolute process and it took probably 75% of our time. And we just did that up until literally last month. Now we have Jessica, our, our merch lady. It's been amazing having her do our merch because it literally saves us so much time and we just couldn't keep up with it. So if you guys saw a shift in our quality of content and we started posting more, that was why. It's because we started outsourcing our merch and we pretty much took all that time that we focused on the merchandise and put it into the quality of content. But now this is literally just used for, for storage. Bring it on back. So after everything would come out of the conveyor belt and get bagged, it would go into inventory, which was stored right here and all back here, full of Sea Boys TV merch. But once all that space was opened up, it was quickly filled up by Erase Products, which is our cleaning products company, and then Wide Open Parts, which is our riding gear e-commerce business. And we'll take both of those below. Love for you guys to check them out. Bring it over to Ryan. Welcome to my home. This is where I ship out all of your Erase Products orders, all the Wide Open Parts orders. So every time you order, Get it on the computer, I package it up, grab it, wrap it in bubble wrap, maybe throw in a couple free stickers, and then send it out. And the UPS guy comes and picks it up every day. Hey Wade, every time you guys order something online, we really appreciate it. Don't forget, all three websites go to the giveaway. We actually just restocked all of our race products, so go and get them now. So anyways, over here, we'll go check out the office slash like kitchen area. Bathroom right here, really nothing special, but pull-up bar. We like to hit a few pull-ups every now and then. Gotta stay fit. This is the kitchen slash office area. I'll let Mike kind of take it away. Oh, hey. This is where I spend 96.7% of my time. Seriously do spend a lot of time at this computer. And then I bump up against chairs with Ben and CJ quite often. This is where they sit. That's where Ryan sits. Corner yeah, office. Really, well. <laughs> really this, this room is like the best thing ever for us. We spend a lot of time in here, a lot of time together. Cooking, cleaning, on computers, vegging out on the TV. If Jake is ever in the office, he's right here. And this massage chair, we got it for free. This is a really nice massage chair, I'm not kidding you. This is basically the, the way we all stay sane, honestly. And we got the camera gear here, some GoPros, some other camera stuff. We got these mics, like prank mics or whatever you want to call them. They're just wireless mics. Wireless mics. We got them. What should we do with them? Maybe Dude. nothing. Maybe that's not even our style, but comment down below. I really want to go like just like try just messing with some people. Yeah, just, like just like just have like funny conversations yeah. or something, but we'll see.
So this is the laundry room slash storage. Check it out. Ryan just found that the other day. So up here, all the old helmets. Um, 509 keeps us um, keeps us looking fresh every season. So thank you guys, 509. Notice that it's only how tall you think the ceiling is? Five feet? Yeah. Yeah. It sucks. That's all I know. Being a sea boy is pretty cool. But I've been living in, so it's been a year and a half, really? A year and a half, yeah. I've been living up here day. in this loft for a year and a half. And let me tell you, it's been a grind. It's been a real grind. It. It's about as crappy as it looks. The long lost Jake's bed. So. When we moved here, the guy that owned it before said, you can just have that bed. Super nice bed. And we're like, Jake, this is your bed. And Jake's like, yeah, I'm live. I'm going to live here with you, Micah. And then he slept on that bed like one time. Dude, ever, ever. It actually worked out really good because we have two extra beds now here. So like if you have friends who need a place to sleep or if you just are here really late and you don't want to drive home, you, you end up sleeping here. And it's, it honestly isn't bad at all. What's left? The fire pit. Oh shit, yeah. This is like Ken's favorite part of the whole place. What? Get up! Look out! <laughs> Holy shit! Jordan and, and hey, hey, Alex just cool. stormed off in the van. What just happened? So hyped up on Doc. We were gonna go jumping, but jumping? Yeah. You you still can. You were gonna go jumping? We're gonna hit that yeah. over there. This thing is sweet, mode. you guys. <laughs> how do you, how like, what's the mode, mode you put it in? <laughs> is there a mode for jumping? <laughs> Ryan, don't. It's pretty funny that this is happening when we're shooting, like, the shop tour because it probably looks like this happens all the time. <laughs> all right, well, that was weird. Um, Ken, why don't you talk about your, your grill? It's beautiful. It's a, uh, it's a Brinkman. We just got it from G-Reg a couple weeks ago. Don't have any meat today. I'll get you yet. some thawed, buddy. You guys haven't been following Big Ken as Grill Master. He's Grill Master Daddy. And uh, I guess this is it. This is the end. There's not really much left to show. Hopefully you guys liked it because, I don't know, it wasn't very exciting for us, but you guys seem to really want to see what it was all about. Six months, and we plan to be into something bigger and better. Uh, it's on nine. All right, it might be nine. It might be six <laughs> to nine months. Sure, Ken. Ken is like, I don't think we can do it in six. All right, maybe next time. We'll do like a shop tour, but a car tour on our cars or something. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, we only have three days left of the Maverick giveaway. That ends October 3rd, 12 o'clock midnight. You're going to want to get entered. Every $5 equals one entry. And you can do that at cboystv.com. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Honestly, this is really good, Jordan. Good job. Whoa! But so where's the art. handlebars? That might work with children. That is a freaked up. Well, the penis looks fine. The, the nuts are scary. <laughs> the nuts are a little <laughs> wide, buddy. Like, well, it's like if you go like, on a roller coaster and you're going upside <laughs> down. I don't know what your nuts look like, but it's fine. <laughs>